Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom to those who are gathered here in the Mishkan. Shabbat Shalom to those who are joining us from your homes through the live stream. Together we will raise our voices and create one united congregation. This is the eve of Shavuot. Tomorrow night we will welcome in the Yom Tov and all day on Sunday we will uh, reflect on what it means to receive Torah and mitzvot again and again and again. Tonight is also a celebration of our teen leadership at Holy Blossom Temple. And so the service is going to be enhanced uh, by their voices, their insights, and their leadership. We turn to page 105. The prayer books can be found in the seats right in front of you. And those at home, you can find the link to Sidur Pir Kodesh, just an inch or two away, page 105, Yedid Nefesh. Yedid Nefesh, Av Harachaman, Mishoh Chavtach, 
Herzog nach, ich Hadur <laughs> Last night, the women of Holy Blossom Temple, formerly known as the Sisterhood of Holy Blossom Temple, celebrated more than 100 years of women's leadership at Holy Blossom. It was in 1921 that Rebecca Brickner founded the Sisterhood. Uh, at that time, women were not members of Holy Blossom Temple. Only men were voting members of the synagogue, and so it was advised that women should establish a way that they could cast a vote to influence uh, what leadership they wanted to provide, what directions they wanted to give to this terrific congregation. And Rabbi Tepper reminds me that it is 50 years to the day that Rabbi Sally Presand, the first woman to be ordained as a rabbi by Hebrew Union College in Cincinnati, Ohio, was given the title of rabbi. Last night we heard from Anna Mee Paul about Jewish women's leadership. And tonight we call to mind leading figures like Rabbi Sally Presand, like Rebecca Brickner, and like our two outgoing Habsti presidents who will lead us in the candle lighting, Zoe Wallhouse and Danielle Lester. So as they make their way up, I'd like to invite also um, anyone who would like to light candles tonight. We have a number of sets of candles here. You can come as an individual, you can come uh, with a dear one. Don't be shy, and we'll join together with Zoe and Danielle leading us. Who would like to light candles? Come. come and light. Come and light. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu v'tzivanu lehanik ner shel Ran <laughs> 
nare alle zu riechen, ne kann ma fan hab betoda, bis mir rot nare allo, ki el kado lado nai, um el kado al kol Elohim. Asher biato merkere aret veto avotari himlo. Asher lo hayam behu asahu veabeshet yadav yatsaru bohu nishtachave venichra nivrecha lifne arunai ohsenu. Ki ho Eloheinu v'anachnu Amarito v'etzom yado Yalai, lalai, lalai, yai, lalai, lalai Yai, lalai, 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 yai, lalai, lalai, lalai Yalai, lalai, lalai, yalai, lalai, lalai Hayom b'kolo Tishmahu Shiru l'Adonai Shir chada Shiru l'Adonai Kol ha'aretz Shiru l'Adonai Baruch Hu Shemo Basur Meyom Leyom Yeshua Hato Sabru Vagoyim Kevodo Bechol ha'amim Niflotav Ki katol Adonai Um hulal me Meod Nora Hu Al kol Elohim Yai lai lai Ki kol Elohe Ha'amim belilim V'adonai Shemayim Mahasa Hod v'hadar Lefanav Oz v'tiferet B'migdasho Hobul Adonai Mishpechot Ha'amim Hobul Adonai Kavod v'oz Hobul Adonai Kivod Shemo Yai lai 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 Yai lai Yai lai lai We continue to welcome Shabbat with L'Chad Odi, page 115. Yalilalilha l'chad hodi Yalilalilha l'krat kala Yalilalilha p'nei Shabbat P'nei Shabbat nekabela Shabmor v'zachor Beribor echad Ishmihanu el hamyuchad Adonai echad Ushemo echad Lishemo letiferet Velitihila Yai lai lai Yale lale lale chad odi Yale la le la li krat kala Yale la le la pene shabhat Pene shabhat nekabela Li krat shabhat Lechul venelcha Ki mekor Ha-perakha Me-rosh mi-kedem Nesucha Sof ma-haseh Me-makshibat e-khila Ya-la-la-la-la Ya-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la
Ya le la le la likrat kala. Ya le la le la pene shabat, pene shabat nikabila. Hitoreri, hitoreri, ki va ore. Mi hori, 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 shir da beri, ke foda tona, e Allah ich nikla, e ya la la, ya la 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 le chadoni. Ya le la le la likhat kala, ya le la le la pene shabat, pene shabat nikabela. Oh, he veshalom materet bala hagam besimacha. Oh, v'tola hatoche mune am segula boi chala boi chala lechadodi lekad kala pene shabat nekabela. Lechadoti, lekad kala, pene shabat nekabela. Ya la la la, ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 la. Lechadoti, lekad kala, pene shabat nekabela. Lechadoti, le. Kat kala pene shabat nekabela. Mizmor she le yom hashabat tov lehodot la donai. ולזמל לשמך עליון, ולזמל לשמך עליון, להכיר בבוקר חסדך, ואמונתך בלילות, עלי עשור ועלי נבל, עלי Kayon bechinon, mizmor shir leom hashabat, tov lehodot la Adonai, ulezamel leshimcha elyon, ulezamel leshimcha elyon, kisi machtani Adonai befoh alecha. במעשי ידיך ארני, בגלו מעשיך ארוני, מאוד עמקו מחשבותיך. מזמור שיר ליום השבת, טוב להודות לאדוני. ולזמר לשמך עליון, ולזמר לשמך עליון.
19. So this is my blessing on creation. Creation and humans' role within creation has interestingly enough been one of the self-serving of our ego. The king of the beasts and other harshly given titles have been assigned to humanity. But yet, we are much more interconnected with all living things. We help create, which thus helps grow and flourish. The globe is not a creation of us humans, but a creation almost like a tapestry. I remember one time earlier on in my life owning a fish tank. This fish tank contained many fish, a moor fish and some other multicolored species. I needed to care for them and create a safe environment where each and every fish was fed. One time, in returning from vacation, I had arrived home to a fish who had been eaten by the others. Only remaining was a small skeleton. This taught me an important lesson. Creation is not just about the power of one, but the power of many to help aid the creation. I would say revelation is a big event, a eureka moment. An example of a revelation in the Torah is when the Israelites were given the covenant. That was definitely a big event. In the modern era, however, we don't tend to see revelations of this magnitude. Instead, we see revelations of a much smaller scale, like screwing in a light bulb and seeing it turn on for the first time. Just because revelations are smaller, this doesn't mean that we shouldn't appreciate them. Instead, we should treasure the, small, the smaller but still meaningful revelations we have. There we go. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevot Malchuto Leolam Ba'ed Ve'avta et Adonai Elohecha Ve'chol Avavcha Uve'chol Nafshecha Uve'chol Me'odecha Ve'hayu Advarim ha ele, Asher anochi metavecha, Hayom aleva vecha, Vechinantam levanecha, Vedibartabam, Vechivtecha vetecha, Ulaftecha baderech, Ushovtecha ufkumecha, Uksartam leot aliadecha, Behayu letotafot beine necha, Uchtav tam, Almezuzot betecha, Visha recha, Leman tiskeru, Vasitem et komitvotai, Beitem kiroshim lewehe. 
Ani Adonai Eloichem, Asher Hotzeit Yechem, Eretz Mitzrayim, Yot Lachem Elohim, Ani Adonai Eloichem. I've been an active member of the Jewish community my whole life, which has brought me to hundreds of different services. Whether it be at Holy Blossom, Camp George, or Jewish Day School, the two words that rotate around the leader's prelude to Micha Mocha are freedom and redemption. These words often seemed interchangeable, but being raised by a rabbi and an English professor, I feel inclined to take a closer look. On Thursday, March 19th, 2020, I remember waiting after school with some classmates, discussing the lockdown that was said over our school board. Two whole weeks without school. It was all still amusing to us in grade eight. None of our relatives had gotten sick yet. We hadn't missed trips, summer plans, graduation. It was just a funny thing Rudy Gobert created to postpone the basketball season. So I encourage you to look back at those first few weeks, months, where the COVID lockdown set you free. Free from work, maybe, free from school, free from any responsibility other than that of lacking responsibility. It was freedom, but it was not redemption. To be redeemed is not to be exempt of responsibility, but to be exempt of strife. The redemption we seek would maintain our humane responsibilities while releasing the stress that they may bring. Back in Egypt, the Israelites regained their freedom at the crossing of the sea by leaving the responsibility of slavery. Fifty days later, they stood at Mount Sinai and took up the new responsibilities of independence for the sake of their redemption. As we prepare for Shavuot, remember to reunite with old responsibilities and to welcome some new ones. Redemption will follow. Grant that we may lie down in peace, Adonai, our God, and raise us up, O sovereign to life renewed. Spread over us the shelter of your peace, guide us with your counsel, and your name's sake be our help. Shield us from hatred and plague, keep us from war and famine and anguish, subdue our inclination to evil, O God, our guardian and helper our gracious and merciful sovereign. Give us refuge in the shadow of your wings. Guard us our coming and our going. Peace. Praise to you, Lord, and I. Your shelter of peace is spread over us, over all your people, Israel, and over Jerusalem. Yes, sir. Shabbat, la sote ta shabbat, le dor tamberito lam, ve shamru, bene Israel, ta shabbat, la sote ta shabbat, le dor tamberito lam. 
Ben Hilven, Bene Israel, Bene Israel, Loti, Leolam, Veshamru, Bene Israel, Ed Hashabat, La Sote, Tashabat, Letor Tamiritola. Ki sheshet yamim asa haronai, asa haronai, et hashamayim ve'et ha'aretz ve'shamru v'ne Yisrael et hashabat la'azot et hashabat le'dor tamberit olam u'payom hashvihi Shavat fa'ina fash, Shavat fa'ina fash, Shavat fa'ina fash. Beshamru bene Israel et hashabat la'asot et hashabat le'dor tamberit olam. Yid kadal, yid kadashem her haba, mi alem adi berachirute, mi am nich malchute, bechay echon uvio mechon, u bechay dechol beit Yisrael, ba hagala ba hagala, u bismahan kahariv, vimeru. Amen, yeheshme raba mevarach, lealamu al me al maya. Yid parach v'yish tabach v'yid par v'tromam v'tnase v'yid hadar v'yid hale v'yid halal shemer kuresha berichu leyehila min kol birchata v'shirata tush bechata v'nechemata. Da mihiran bialma vimeru amen. Adonai sefatajita ufiya gita jilatayma barufata Adonai Eloheinu velheavu teinu Elohe Abraham leisa Now we shall stand for the Avidat, page 129. Oh. We continue quietly through page 136.
Confirmation students, the future is bright with you. We continue with our prayers for healing found on page 137. And before we call to mind the friends and family who are in need of healing, first we pray for the healing of the land on which we live, the land where we make our home. And we pray for healing among the relationships among the many peoples who live on this land, who inhabit this beautiful land. Holy Blossom Temple rests on the traditional territory of, the many, nation, of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabeg, the Haudenosaunee, the Ojibwa Chippewa, the Huron-Wendat peoples. Through a series of treaties, some made in good faith, some made under duress, Toronto is now covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. Today, many First Nations, Inuit, and Métis peoples call us to rise to the challenge of truth and reconciliation and to respond to the 94 calls to action. We ask that God will grant a refuah a complete healing of body and spirit, for those among us who seek it, to Johanna Falk, Hannah Bargitel, Peter Samu, Sarah Leah, Bat Moshe Meir, Veneomi, Chava Bat Avraham Vesara, Miriam Ben, Bat Binyamin Vesara Leah, Agnes Adler, Freja Marmer, Zoe Mini Moses, Moshe Gershon Ben, Baruch Shalom Chaim Verachel Leah, Hudi Cherendoff, and Joel Sears. Are there any other names to include in our prayers for healing tonight? Bless those in need of healing with refua shelema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. Mishabeherach avote. Mikora habracha, lehi 
Motenu, may the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us sing Amen. The moment the Jewish people first defines itself as a people was a moment recorded in the book of Exodus when we stood at the foot of the mountain amidst the thunder and the lightning, the smoke and the trembling, and we answered God's invitation in one voice, two words, na'aseh v'nishma. We will do and we will hear. This was the signal that we could be trusted with God's Torah, that we would make it our own, as our confirmation students clearly are making it their own. And in that spirit, the covenant was struck. These two words, na'aseh v'nishma, launched the Jewish people into the making of a distinct history for our people. According to the ancient rabbis, Shavuot is the anniversary of when we entered into this pact between God and the Jewish people. And so tomorrow night, we will welcome in Shavuot at 7 o'clock with a congregational service, followed by cheesecake, followed by an 8 o'clock tikkun lel Shavuot, with our honored teacher, our honored rabbi, returning to Holy Blossom Temple through the live stream, Rabbi Joan Friedman, who was the first woman rabbi to serve a Canadian congregation here at Holy Blossom in 1980. She now serves as the chair of the Reform Responsa Committee, which is a very esteemed position, once held by Rabbi Plaut, alava shalom. And so she's going to be speaking about uh, Reform Halacha and the evolution of Jewish law in a Reformed Jewish context. So I invite you please to come and learn with Rabbi Friedman. If you'd like to go downtown for a late night uh, tikkun, there will be um, outdoor study uh, for everyone. And there are a series of teachers from across the city, including myself. So um, a Shavuot is a great time for, for learning. Now it has been taught that the phrase na'aseh v'nishma encapsulates the Jewish approach to a life of mitzvot. That is, first we will do, and then we will hear, or listen, understand, discern. Only through a leap of action, as Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel teaches, do we make our way to faith. This has been the hallmark and the strength of our people, a people of action, known worldwide as a people of action. But, and, when the Ten Commandments appear for a second time in the book of Deuteronomy, there we find something surprising. Not once, not twice, but three times, the same verbs, to do and to hear, are written in the reverse order. God says, Shema Yisrael, listen, O Israel, to the laws and rules that I articulate and pronounce into your ears this day. Study them and take care, la'asotam, so that you might do them. The first instruction is to listen, to study, and only then to do with care. Next, the heads of the tribes and the elders speak on behalf of the people, pledging the echo of Sinai, but in the reverse order, not na'aseh v'nishma, but this time v'shamanu v'asinu, we will listen and we will do. And then once more the instruction is reinforced with clarity, v'shamati Yisrael, v'shamarta la'asot, listen, O Israel, and take care to do them, as Adonai, the God of your ancestors, has spoken to you. So what is meant by this reversal? It's surprising, it's confusing, it's uh, enticing. 
Why has the emphasis shifted from Exodus, Na'asev and Ishma, to Deuteronomy, from we will hear, we will do, and then we will hear, to we will hear, and then we will do? Perhaps this comes to teach that while the Sinai moment required an immediate, even impulsive leap of action, in Deuteronomy, when we have had 40 years of wandering in the wilderness, and we sit on the edge of the land of Israel, something else is required of us. Perhaps Na'asev and Ishma was required, necessary to establish the covenant in the first place, but Nishma and Na'aseh is required in order to maintain it throughout the ages. Just consider how friendships are established and then maintained. First, we prove ourselves through our actions, through our deeds, by being there, by showing up. And what allows friendships to endure the passage of time? Then it's the listening. Listening carefully to the other, listening with empathy and full attention so that we can know in turn how to act again how to respond appropriately. That is the mark of loyal friendship. So Shavuot is the celebration of a kind of loyalty. On Sunday morning, our service will be celebratory with Hallel. It will be mournful with Yisker. And in between at the Torah service, we will uh, welcome in the new babies born into the congregation and celebrate all the potential we see in them. We will welcome our Pirche Kodesh society, that is, those who are loyal members to Holy Blossom Temple in increments of 18 years. Those who have been with us for 18 years, 36 years, 54 years, and I'm not kidding you, 72 years. They will come and stand at the Torah. And we also will welcome our two incoming rabbis, Associate Rabbi Sam Kay and Assistant Rabbi Eliza McCarroll. The theme of Shavuot is about relationships between God and the Jewish people, between the Jewish people and one another. And tonight, the greatest example of that loyalty, that reinforcement and reiteration of the covenant is in how we are celebrating the teen leadership of Holy Blossom Temple. What I see in them is the passion to jump in with action, to say, yes, I will be one of those people who knows how to put myself in the right place at the right time to do the right thing. And that is the Na'asev and Ishma approach. And then I look at their parents and their grandparents and their teachers, and I think, they bring another kind of wisdom, another kind of approach, which is that we should listen, we should learn, we should study, we should take a measured approach, and then decide how we will act in the world. Both of these taken together are the way of the world and the way that the Jewish people can make its mark on this world that is in so much need of healing and redemption. We turn back to our prayer book now for the counting of the Omer, page 138. Please rise. Hinni muhanum zuman, hinni muhanum zuman, hinni muhanum zuman, hinni muhanum zuman. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushanu B'mitvotah V'tzivanu Al Sfirat HaOmer Hayom Tishav Arbaim Yom Shehem Shavu HaShavuot LaOmer Forty-nine days of the Omer, a full seven weeks. 
עלינו לשבח לאדון הכל, לתת הילולה ליוצא בראשית, שלא עשנו כגויי הרצון, ולא שמנו את משפחות האדמה, שלא שם חלקנו כהם, וגור עלינו ככל המונם, ואנחנו קוראים ומשתחווים ומודים לפני מלך מלכי המלכים. הקדוש ברוך הוא, שהוא נוטה שמיים ויוסר ארץ, ומושב יקרו בשמיים ממעל, ושכינת זו, ושכינת זו, בגובי מרומים. הוא אלוהינו אין עוד, אמת מלכנו אפס אולתו. קקעתו בתורתו, וידעת היום, וידעת היום, והשבות האלה בביך, כי אדוני הוא האלוהים בשמיים ממעל, ועל הארץ, ועל הארץ, מתחת אין עוד, ונאמר, והיה אדוני למלך על כל הארץ ביום ההוא, ביום ההוא יהיה אדוני אחד ושמו, ושמו, ושמו אחד. The Mourner's Kaddish may be found on page 142. We invite the mourners among us to rise in your place if you are marking your site this day. or if you are remembering a loved one who has died within the year, we extend our condolences to you now. And those at home, you might wish to write the name of your loved one in the comment section so that we can support you and offer condolences to you through the live stream. Today we mark the yard site of James Banks, Enid Berg, Ita Bergman, Joseph Lumenthal, Fanny Borchet, Frederick Burton, Cassie Clodman, Betty Cohen, Pearl Cole, Elliot Collins, Susan Davidson, Louis Dennis, Benjamin Dole, Fanny Dworkin, William Eisenberg, Earl Farber, Esther Fitchman, Nathan Finkelstein, Alex Flohman, Roy Frankfurter, Sylvia Froman, Jean Godfrey, Maxie Gold, Elizabeth Goldberg, Faye Goldman, Godfrey Goodman, Irving Halperin, Michael Hart, Hazel Henry, Hyman Jacobson, Golda Kaplan, Pearl Cates, Nathan Kurdman, Felicia Knoll, Herman Knoll, Sigmund Knoll, Benjamin Kofsky, Louis Kirshner, Esther Lander, Abraham Lander, Naomi Lehrer, L. Jules Mendelssohn, Morris Mock, Anne Moranis, Renee Morganton, Faye Mossoff, Walter Reeter, Leonora Ritterman, Sidney Rosen, Sarah Rothstein, Tommy Schaefer, Bessie Shipper, Harry Schwartz, Samuel Shapiro, Henry Shapiro, Batya Singer, Pauline Singer, Jacqueline Singer Edelson, Fanny Skurka, Essie Steiner, Albert Steiner, Gertrude Stitt, Max Schwartz, Moses Toker, Leon Weinstein, Sadie Wise, Jenny Wolf, Florence Yasny, and Bess Yalek. We also remember those who died most recently, whose families are in the period of Shloshim. They are Carol Ruth Arbus, Charles Cohen, Michael Foman, Barry Gringorton, Hillel Leopold, Sally Libman, Lillian Melvin, Jack Schuber, and Harry Ann Kronick. Zichronam Livracha. Are there any other names to be remembered this Shabbat? May their memories be for a blessing. We stand together with our mourners now to support them as they grieve and to praise God's name with these words. Yit gadal v'yit kadash me raba b'alma divrach hirutei v'yamlich malchutei b'chayechon uv'yomechon uv'chayei d'chol b'yit Yisrael בעגלה ובזמן קריב, ואמרו אמן. 
יהי שמי רבה מברך לעלם ולעלמי עלמיה, יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא, ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל שמי דקודשה בריכו, לאלה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה, תושבחתה ונחמתה, דאמירן בעלמה, ואמרו אמן. יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיא וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומיו, הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. May the source of peace send peace to those who mourn and comfort to those among us who are bereaved and together we say אמן. עושה שלום במרומיו, הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואימרו אמן. So as the cantor is pouring the wine, an announcement to our teen leaders and their families who are joining together for Shabbat dinner and celebration on the lower level. You can get there by way of the staircase or the elevator. And uh, Mazel Tov to the families of our confirmation students and to their teachers. Page 439, we rise, we remain standing. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei piri hagafen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam אשר קידשנו במצוותיו ורצבנו, ושבת קורשו ביחבה וברצון הנחילנו זיכרון למעשה וראשית, כי הוא יום תחילה למקראי קודש, זכר לציהר מצרים, כיוון ZANG EN MUZIEK And Logan Peter Seal is going to lead us in the Motsi, a leader of Habsti and a leader of our congregation. Shalom.